Well, we're getting pretty comfortable with uh, adding objects and manipulating them. Let's take a look at editing them. An edit to an object is basically anything you can do to it, changing the size, the uh, position, the text, the color. But uh, basically what we're talking about when we say editing is to initiate the object properties dialog. That's where you can make some really meaningful edits. So let's go and drag a button in here from the gallery. We'll take the orange parallel, drag it out and we'll look at the first way that we can initiate that properties dialog and that is to double click on this object so we'll just with the left mouse button double click it and we get the button properties dialog and we can go ahead and do some edits here so for example if we wanted to edit the font and maybe put in a fancy font we could choose select font and let's see if we can find something fancy here well, this one's kinda wacky so let's choose that and I think maybe I'll size it up a little there we go, we can see the audition here, and that's about the size of our button. So I'll press OK and OK. And as you can see, we've, we've gone ahead and edited our button there. So that was the first way of initiating that properties dialog, and those to double click on the button. So I'm going to press Control Z to get back where we were, and I'm going to look at a second way here. And that is to right click on the button and choose the properties option. Additionally, you could use the shortcut key here of Control Enter with the button selected. So let's press that. As you can see, we get back into the same spot. And at this time, we're going to make a different type of an edit. How about let's go into the Attributes tab, where we control a variety of different things. And we'll actually go ahead and add it the tooltip. So we'll add a tooltip here that says, Hello World. And then we'll press OK. Actually, let's go ahead and edit the cursor too. So let's let's turn the cursor into a crosshair cursor. That's kind of neat. Press OK. And when we press F5 to preview our project, you'll see that in the resulting preview here... Oh, we forgot to... Uh, I'm going to close this. We forgot to remove that action from our earlier lesson, actually, in sizing. So I'll go ahead and remove that and press OK. There we go. Now we'll press F5 to preview. Okay, so you can see here that we've got our button. And when we hover over it, we see the words Hello World, which we typed into the tooltip edit. And we see the crosshair. And so that's our edits active for that button. So let's go ahead and shut that down. And we will press Control Z to get back where we were. And that removes those edits. And we're going to go ahead and look at a third way to initiate the object properties for this object. And that would be to go to the object menu and choose properties. Again here you've actually got another option for editing the text as well with F2. So you can go ahead and press that if you wanted to edit just the text. And it would highlight the text area over here in the properties dialog. And this properties dialog, which we'll take a look at in the next lesson, is additionally another way that you can edit various aspects of an object. But for now, we're just going to look at those three ways. And that would be to double-click, to right-click, and to go to Object, Properties. So when we select that, it takes us here to this uh, dialog that we've become familiar with now. And we can do a variety of edits. In this particular case, how about, let's go to the Attributes tab again. And this time we'll change the size. So we'll go ahead and change the size. We did this earlier. We'll double it by going 444, 134 pressing OK. And that was a third way that we looked at of editing this object. Okay, so hopefully now everybody's comfortable with adding objects, manipulating them, and editing them. Now we've got some special tools available for working with objects additional, such as the Object Pane and Properties Pane. So in this upcoming lesson, we're going to take a look at those.